Okay, let's start with the first ever organized knowledge quiz at the UK, thanks to the UK Economist Club. Yeah. We will have today three teams competing against each other, and my job will be to stay in between and prevent them from a serious conflict. I hope the competition will not be like this, but more an intellectual competition among the teams. So we have three teams. I will first invite the members of the first team, which is too big to fail. Wow. Ali Porter, Ben Bissene, and Gerdani Mino. Our second team has a very interesting name based on one of the best singers that Kosovo ever had, Dea Laura. You are disturbing the camera. Uh, Albiona Pezzi and Dorza Cehoya. And the third team, team from Italy, Pizza Quattro Formosi. Don Barsofoli and Rinor Castrote. So, Don Barsofoli. As these are very close to each other, I have to ask you to be fair and not cheat from each other and not try to copy from each other. So, I hope it will be a fair competition. You know that not everybody can win. Some of you will leave today as a loser. <laughs> But at least one of the teams will win and can shop as a millionaire. Okay. We have several categories today. The first category is the so-called turbo round, where you will get five questions, but you have to tell me whether you agree or not. So each of the questions is worth two points. So whoever has a correct answer will get two points. Okay, let's start with the first question. My assistant, Ginta Ogai, will read the questions and then each of you will answer. Okay, do you agree? This is the first question for you. If the marginal cost curve lies below the average variable cost curve, the average variable cost curve must be falling. Yes. <laughs> so you have to tell me whether you agree with that statement or not. But is this for the first group or for everybody? All of them. All of you will give your answer. Should we explain No, just tell me whether you agree or not. So which groups do agree with us with the statement? So Leonora has agreed. What about too big to fail? You agree as well? Yes. All the teams agree. Let's see if that is correct. Yes. So each of them will get two points. Okay, our next question, Geta. With fixed money income, an increase in the price of one good and a decrease in the price of the other will cause the new budget line to intersect the original budget line. So you have two budget lines, and then prices change in different directions. Is the new budget line going to intersect the old or not? Are we ready? So which team does agree with this statement? So second team. What about the rest? You don't agree? Okay, let's see which of the teams is correct. Yes. So two points for our ladies. Next one. The gross domestic product 
is the market value of all goods and services produced by the economy in one year. Do you agree with this statement? So yes or no? Which of you do agree with this statement? Nobody? So you all disagree? Let me check. You are all right. Okay. Two points for every team. Our question four. Suppose you're on a game show and you're given the choice of three doors. Behind one door is a car. Behind the others, goats. You pick a door, say number one, and the host, who knows that's what's behind the door, opens another door, say number three, which has a goat. Then says to you, do you want to pick door number two? Is it your advantage to switch your choice? Well, it is a nonsense question, but made by Eden Wajir. <laughs> Should you switch doors or not? It has convinced me. <laughs> Sorry? No. No. Albiona? Yes. Yes. Leonard? <laughs> Should? No. No. Okay. I think it has solved the question. <laughs> If you want to know why you should switch doors, ask Amy after the show. <laughs> so, team two, an additional two points. Okay, our last, do you have any question? Cost push inflation increases real output and employment. So, do you agree with this statement? Anybody that does agree? No. No. All of you disagree. Let's see if you are right. Yes. So, everybody gets three points. <laughs> Balan, can you tell us the score? Yes. Group one has six points. Uh, group two has ten points. And group uh, three has also six points. Uh -huh. <laughs> Guys, guys, guys. Okay, let's go to the next round, which is a multiple choice group uh, session. You will get five questions. Each of them has four options. One of them is correct. So the team that gives the correct answer will get four points now, okay? So, Gaeta, the first question. Monetary policy that is too tight can. A. Lead to inflation, which in turn can help trigger financial crisis. B. Lead to inflation, which decreases the efficiency of the economy. C. Produce serious recessions in which output falls and unemployment rises. And D. Do only A and B of the above. Do you need consultation? All of you will give your answers. So. It's a question for all of you. So team one, what do you think? C. Team two? C. C. So all of you think it is C? And you're all right. <laughs> Let's go to the next one. So everybody gets four points. Okay. A given unit of, of resource inputs produces 600 tons of corn and 200 tons of soybeans in nation A. And 300 tons of corn and 100 tons of soybeans in the, and nation B. Which of the following is correct? A. The domestic opportunity cost of corn is lower in nation A than in nation B. B. Nation A has comparative advantage in soybeans. C. There are no gains from trade between nation A and, the, and nation B. And D. The terms of trade favor nation A. So don't rush, you have time.
Are we already? Yeah. Any idea? Ten seconds. They still have ten seconds. <laughs> So the other hand? C. 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 Dumbar? C. 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 Yes, you're all right. Everybody has four points. Next one. A nation has a population of 310 million people. Of these, seven, 70 million are retired in the military, in institutions, or under 16 years old. There are 220 million who are employed and 20 million who are unemployed. What is the unemployment rate? A, 8.3%, B, 9.1%, C, 8.7%, and D, 5.2%. you have all calculated there? Okay. What is your answer? A. Group B? A. A. All of them think it's 8.3%. Everybody is right. Very good. So four points for that. Next one. Government goods and services are A. Made available to buyers according to their willingness to pay. B. Distributed through markets. C. Allocated through non-market rationing. And D, distributed only to low-income families. You ready? Doris? C. C. Get it? C. I see. All of them think it's C? Yes. Okay, very good. And our last question in this category. A tax of 20 cents per unit of imported garlic is an example of a specific tariff, B, ad valorem tariff, C, nominal tariff, and D, effective protection tariff. Give us the answer, but you have to write it in your board. 
Okay, and then we will check which of them is the correct. Again, the first one. A firm can hire eight workers at a wage rate of six dollars per hour, but uh, but must pay eight dollars per hour to all of its employees to attract a ninth worker. The marginal wage cost of the ninth worker is. Uh, let's write it down. Five seconds. Five seconds left. So we need your answer. Now. Okay, let's see what is the correct answer and then we will check them. It is 24. So 24 here. 18. 18. 24. So team one and team three have correct answer, so each of them four points. Yes, and uh, then it means you have to pay everybody eight dollars. The marginal cost from hiring, so it means I pay you eight dollars if you cost me twenty four. But you say, uh, the question says the marginal wage cost of the ninth. Yes. Just the Yes. Well, 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 including the not the total no. marginal cost. Marginal cost of the nine worker means how much would it cost me to hire the nine worker? The nine worker cost me eight dollars for him, plus two dollars for everybody else. This is only because I have the nine worker. I can explain this after the test. <laughs> 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 yeah, uh, okay. <laughs> but you agree? Okay. <laughs> Next one, Greta. Industry A is composed of four large firms that hold market shares of 25, 20, 14, and 12 percent. The Herfindahl uh, index for this industry is? <laughs> Calculated. <laughs> You need to remember how the Herfindahl index is calculated. The rest is a piece of paper. <laughs> Do you need an extra time because the time is 16.5? So, are we all ready? Yes. Okay, let's look at the correct answer. 1,365. So, only the second team has it correct. The Herfindahl index is the sum of the squares of the market shares. Okay? Next one, Ginta. Assume the required reserve ratio is 25% and the commercial banking system has 70 million in excess reserves. The maximum amount of money which the banking system could create is. So you need to calculate the multiplier and then. Thank <laughs> you. 
Five seconds left. Okay, we need an answer from you. Team three. Two hundred eighty. Team two. Two hundred and eighty. Eighty. So two hundred eighty. All of them have it correct. Next one. Hey. We have to skip this question, move to the next one. Geta. The Hicks model of strike activity. If the employer concessions curve shifts to the right and the union resistance curve shifts also to the right, then the expected length of the strike will. So what's going to happen with the length of the strike? So if employers are less willing to give up in, and uh, employees are less willing to accept it. <laughs> you are the chair of the party. Okay, time is over, so let me see. You have to write something there. So we have here decrease. What about here? Yours? Oh, come on. Yours. And increase. So we have decrease, shift to the right, increase. The correct answer is increase. So too big to fail gets four points. No, the, the length doesn't shift. The curves do shift to the right, but not the length of the strike. Okay, by then, what are the scores? The scores keep changing, Professor. Now we have uh, two to fail leading with 34 points. Followed back by uh, Leonora group with 34 points and 30 uh, points as uh, quadrophonology. It's a quadrophonology. Okay, now let's go to the next category, which I have named. Let me introduce myself. I will introduce myself and you have to tell me who am I. So you have to write the concept or the name on your board. Okay, Genta. I tell you how much more resources to purchase if the price of that resource changes by a given percentage. Do you understand the explanation? I am that concept that tells you how much more to buy. I am a concept. <laughs> Tell me who am I. So can you write a little bit larger letters? Or Time is over. So what do we have in team one? 
density of demand, price elasticity of, of demand, <laughs> elasticity. <laughs> <laughs> So actually none of you has it right, it is an elasticity of the resource demand. <laughs> no. It makes no difference whether you all get a point or no points. So but none of you have it right. So elasticity of demand is usually meant for the final product or for the resource. Okay, next concept. Gain. I measure the decline in private investment that happens whenever government decides to run a budget deficit. Uh, so who am I? Okay, time's up. So I have the crowding out effect. Crowding out effect of of that. Uh, the correct answer is crowding out effect. So team A and or first and the second team got four points. I know Adi Mohajiri will want to say something about the previous question. Yes. Uh, we believe that group one should receive partial credit because it was embedded in the first in the question itself. It says, I tell you how much more resources, so it implies resources. So when they said elasticity of demand, at least you should get partial credit. So we make two out of four. Two team. out of four for team one. Okay. <laughs> so I don't know what you promised to you, but I don't know Marika. Okay, next concept. I explain the behavior of people who assume that whatever is true for the individual must also be true for the whole society. Who am I? So you are on the right way, get it? <laughs> time's up. Okay, time is over. What do we have on your board, get it? Everything is clean, so probably correct. Second team? Fallacy of composition. Fallacy of composition. So two teams have fallacy of composition, but that is correct. Yeah, but it does not society. But for the group, it's, it's the same for the group or the for the society. But it's a fallacy. Maybe they don't want the point. <laughs> yes. Okay. <laughs> so this is a fallacy because you don't agree doesn't mean that all the team doesn't have to agree. Okay, next one, Gita. I tried to convince you that public debt does not matter. So this is not a term, this is a person. Okay. 
It's not a concept now. So which person tried to convince us that public debt is neutral? It doesn't matter. Is he alive? Uh, which of them first convinced us? Which of them made it popular? Okay. Okay, time is over. So what do we have? Keynes. Harry. So Ricardo. And Keynes. So this is the Ricardian equivalent theory for Keynes and Ricardo. So all the team two got it right. And our last concept, let me introduce myself, Geta. I show you the amount of goods and services that one dollar can buy. Are all teams ready? Okay, I see in all of them purchasing power. And that is correct. Balloon? Okay, Professor, the uh, points are as follows. Uh, 52 for too big to fail, 50 for group Leonora, and uh, 34 for <laughs> Based on the guidelines, you are still at an F. <laughs> Our next category, Math and Economics. <laughs> so knowing who was your professor, I don't expect you to collect points here. <laughs> First question. Adelina sells blueberry ice cream for 1.5 euros and black walnut ice cream for 2.4 euros. In what ratio should Adelina mix these two types of ice cream so that the mixture is sold for 2 euros? So you will get two minutes for this. So remember, you're looking for ratio. So you have to give the answers in ratio. <laughs> Sorry, you don't have to divide it then. It's not a particular ratio. Not for it's enough if you give us a but we will accept that as well. If it's correct. If it's correct. Yeah. If it is correct. Of course. Whatever you say, boss. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, 
Okay, time is over. Let me check. So I see many things, but nothing clear here. So you have? Ice cream and why is black walnut? So it's one for blueberry ice cream and one for Or if you want to see this one. Oh, that one is correct. 55 and 45. So how's it going? 55 for which one? 45. And why? Uh, the second ice cream. Oh, okay. Then it is correct for team 1 and team 2. 4 over 9 and 5 over 9. Very good. Team three are sprinters. <laughs> Get up. Bukoviku Bank lends 100,000 euros to four clients. The first client gets 25,000 euros at 6%. The second client gets uh, 30,000 euros at 8%. And the third client gets 20,000 euros at 8.5%. If the average interest rate is 7.7%, what should be the interest rate for the fourth client? Two minutes. Five seconds left. Time is over. Okay, what do we have in team one? Nothing. Team two? 8.4. Team three? What do we get? 8.3. Okay. It's 8.4. So only team two has it right? So Leonora. Okay, Leonora, let's go on with Leonora. Herodinda, Giorza, and Ambiona open a pizzeria together. Pizzeria, for more. Herodinda puts in 4,000 euros, Giorza 8,000 euros, and Ambiona 8,000 euros. Herolinda is also actively involved in the daily management of the pizzeria and gets 30% of the eco economic profit for this additional effort. The rest is shared and proportional to the invested capital. If pizzeria is making 8,000 euros in economic profit, what is the share of profit that Yorza will get? So only for Yorza. <laughs> Now she's very 
and he would make 25% loss. 20, 20. 20% loss. What should be the new price so Sadri starts making 10% uh, profit? I think you are all right there. What do they have there? What? 198? 198? 198. Perfect. So all of them get four points. And by then, what is current there? The situation? Too big, too big to fail has 60 points, so it has uh, reached the uh, D level. So the D. Leonora uh, has 70 points, and uh, already a C. Yeah. Formaggio, Cadre Formaggio is uh, 46. So not okay, yet. Quattro Formaggio is coming close. Okay. <laughs> so our next category will be a puzzle. So here we need less than one minute, so maybe one minute. So here is, so you have 16 questions, and whenever you solve a question, I will open it. So we can first open the edges and then the beginning, uh, the middle. Once you find the concept, you get six additional points for that, and we will continue until we clean the board. So I will start with team number one. If they don't know the correct answer, we go to team two and so on, okay? So let's start with team number one. Which of these questions do you want? Number nine. Okay, go on. Four non savers, a tax on consumption, A, is equivalent to a tax on income, B, results in windfall income gains. Okay, here you should give only 30 seconds. Yeah, this is what we were discussing. Okay. okay. So, I'm glad you need to give us an answer. C. C is wrong. We need to go to the second team now. Second team thing, second team thinks it's A, and this is correct. Okay, so four points for the second team. Okay, but it opened. I don't know what happened. Problem in there. Okay, what do you want group two? Four. Four. Okay, let me see. I hope it will open four. But somehow it. Oh, yes. Get up. The union non union wage gap tends to increase, decrease, not change, or the answer is uncertain during recessions. 30 seconds time.
during recession. Mm -hmm. So you think the correct answer is A. That is correct. A is correct. It increases during recession. Simply because union workers are protected by inclusive contracts. Okay, very good. So team two, do you know what is hidden behind the puzzle? Okay, let's, so four points for team two. You can guess. No, you don't lose points. No. Team three. No, you have to open it. One or sixteen? No, six. 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 Okay. No, six you cannot open. First of the side. You want 13? I hope it will open 13. It did open. Without showing the question? Yeah. Uh, eight? Eight, the format will be something. Okay. okay. It was the format. Okay. Read the question again, Doug. Which of the following is not a consequence of third-party payments? A. Reduced out-of-pocket prices for services for patients. B. Increased prices received by healthcare providers. C. Increased resources devoted to healthcare. And D. Reduced resources devoted to healthcare. Which of them is So which of them is that? I think D is correct and they are right. Can you guess now? You want to guess? So why is supposed to model? No. Okay, are you? <laughs> Can? No, you cannot open in the middle, so first of that. Three. Okay. Genta. The omitted variable bias exists unless we exclude the constant, B. We exclude the irrelevant variable, C. The true coefficient of the emitted variable equals zero, and D, none of the above. Time is over. Then C and C is correct. Very good. Okay. Any idea? How many points for the team who went who guesses what it is? Six additional points. <laughs> I don't know whether it will help you. <laughs> and if any idea, we have to move faster. Okay. Yours. 15. You can open 15. If it opens 15. Right? <laughs> it only opens 15. Sorry. So find another one. So, 14. <laughs> What's 
tofu. No, I have to. Okay, fine. Okay, get on. Assume that an increase in households disposable income from forty thousand dollars to forty eight thousand dollars leads to an increase in consumption from thirty five thousand dollars to thirty nine eight hundred thousand dollars. Then this a the slope of the consumption schedule is zero point seventy five. B average propensity to consume is zero point six. C. Marginal propensity to save is 0 0.25 and D. Marginal propensity to consume is 0 0.6. D. You think it is D and D is correct? Okay. Do you have an answer? <laughs> no, that's not correct. Next one. Which one can we choose? Those that are still uh, one and two. Can we choose number one? Yes. If it opens, now we're wrong. I don't know, yes. If the prices of consumer goods in Bukovic increase, A, the supply of construction workers will increase, B, the demand of construction workers will increase, C, the supply of construction workers will decrease, and D, the demand of construction workers will decrease. Do you know the 
Uh, interest rate curve. I don't know. Where interest rate is. Wallet is wrong. No. You shall open one field. So which of them do you want? Seven. Seven. You have no access to her friend this year. I am willing to pay 10 euros to attend the economics knowledge quest. You are organizing an AOK. For Leonora, the marginal utility of the event is A, zero, B, positive, but declines rapidly, C, negative, and D, positive. Okay, time is over. I do one. D is correct, of course. Okay. Okay. Do you know the answer or not? ISLM curve. Very good. Right. So six more points for Team B. Get it? Next. Six. If x, is, if x is normally distributed with a mean m and a variance m squared, if p is minus 4, probability, probability minus 4. Yes. Only x, less than, this question. x less than minus 4 more than 8 is 0 0.997, then m is. One, two, four, or six. This is not like the moment. This is. This, it is the statistics or what is it? It is six. So you have it. What a percentage chance to get it correct? Twenty-five. You have fifty percent. <laughs> Time is over. Time is over, guys. So what do you think? <laughs> Renard, time is over. Uh, one. <laughs> two. One or two now? <laughs> <laughs> one, 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 one. one is wrong, two would have been correct. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. No, it's already Don't have calculator, so the comedy must decide. Yes, because right the of the it's No, no, you don't have the committee must decide. I think they have it correct. So you will get the points, you don't need to so you can explain this to you later. So four points for the first team. Okay, yes, what do you want to open? 10. 10 and 11. Nothing else. Okay, 80. 80. 80. 80. 80. Will you freeze? It's not working. Please, please. Yes, by then. Maybe you can tell them the point. Okay. Two big to fail, 76 points. Uh, group Leonora, 92 points. And uh, Prof. Samar, 50 points. From the lowest part. <laughs> okay. Are we ready now? Okay, let's move to the next category. So here are the rules. 
first team one will choose a letter and then try to give us an answer, find the concept. If not, then we continue. The team that gets it right will get five points, okay? Maybe we explain that these are concepts? These are concepts. Economic. Economic concepts. So not like we're asking for a name. Yes. Concepts. These are economic concepts. No, you, so we have three of them, so each of you will start one. So, you, so give me a letter and I will if it works. You want letter A, if I find it here. If you don't know you say well, let's continue. <laughs> That's very insightful. <laughs> e? E. E in Albanian or E in English? English. <laughs> okay. Lombard. N. <laughs> oh, it's a concept, but I mean. Okay, then. Doris? Oh. Oh. Can I, maybe, because, you see we have a hyphen there, which means... It's, it's the a, same word, yeah, it's so continuing. So, please, so yeah. this whole thing is, a, is one concept? Yes. The whole thing? Okay. Yes. Okay, any idea? So if you don't have an idea, please move on. Okay, so you give the O. Renar? E. I. I. Okay, Herlin. C. Okay. Counter cyclical fiscal policy. Very good. So five points for Team B or Team Leonora. Okay, let's move to the next one. No, you start first. A. Uh, we 
Yes. B. Dendre.
Any idea? A result? Headcount index? Headcount poverty index. Okay, very, very good. Well. Headcount poverty index. Well, five <laughs> points for <laughs> pizza quattro for margin. Okay, now we will move to the next category. Oh, can you tell us points? Yes, uh, group three. Uh, quattro for margin has 55 points. Uh, group one, two big fail, has 81 points. And the leading group, uh, group Leonora, has 90 sound points. Okay. Do you trust this number, Harry? Okay. <laughs> In this category, again, we will have one game for each of you. I will first play with group number one. So I will show you nine concepts for 30 seconds, and then I will remove them. After that, I will bring them back, but in different positions. And I will remove one concept and break a new concept. You have to tell me which concept is taken out, which of them was brought in for six points. If you don't guess it, the second team can do that and so on. Okay? So it's more about memorizing. It's Whatever memorizing concepts. So you need to develop your strategy how you memorize. Okay. Here are the concepts for you. You cannot write anything. So 30 seconds time for that. So you can still remember because you can also get points if you don't guess it. Okay, time is over. I will remove them and bring them back, but in different position. Okay. Now you have one minute time to tell me what was taken out, what came new. Whenever you are ready, you can. Yes. Time is over, I will remove them and bring again. So one minute. Yes. And what came for that?
Uh, session demand was broken very good. Okay. 6.4 Leonora. And now you got your turn. These are your terms for 30 seconds. Time is over. One minute. The time is over. Social welfare. Social welfare was taken out. Budget constraint came in. That is wrong. This is. Health insurance was taken out. And. Health insurance was taken out, but it was We should give them plus credit because they know the budget constraint. Know the budget constraint. So, so, okay. so two to them and two to them. Okay. Is it three and three? No. Three, three or three, yes. Yeah. Okay. This is what the committee has decided. I don't agree with them, but I'm only the moderator. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, next category is for all of you. Here you will have 12 concepts. Each of these concepts has a, a number. You have to remember both the number and the concept. Then you will have to calculate with the concept. Okay. So I will show the concepts for one minute. Okay. Here are the concepts. And then we'll have six questions for that. <laughs> so you need to remember both the numbers and the concepts. So time is over, now I'm going to remove them. And here comes the first question for too big to fail. So you have to tell us how, what will be regression analysis minus increasing opportunity cost. How many, one minute, right? One minute, five points. Yes. Is the motion 
Six marginal benefit. Six marginal benefit, perfect. So five points for them. Another question for your team, Leonora. Fixed exchange rate plus structural unemployment. It's 11 interest rates. 11 interest rates. Perfect. Five points for them. No for your team. Quattro for Moji. How much is economies of scale times economy growth? Uh, the answer is 10 hyperinflation. 10 hyperinflation is perfect. Okay, five points for them as well. The next question for Arif and his team. How much is substitution effect plus fixed exchange rate all together divided by the marginal benefit? What's the answer? Economy of scale. Economy of scale. Perfect. Perfect. Five points for them. Now your question, Leonora T. Monetary aggregate divided by increasing opportunity cost plus substitution effect. different categories and different points. So you have to decide which question you want to take and hopefully I will open the right one. <laughs> so you have to tell me, for example, international trade for three points on this. And we will do only six and finish the question. So Arif, you may start. Monetary policy four. Monetary policy four, this will be here. Okay. Read the question. Holding other things constant, the currency deposit ratio will A. Increases income or wealth increases B. Decreases income increases but increase as wealth increases C. Increase as income increases but decrease as wealth increases and D. Decrease as income or wealth increases Okay, 30 seconds now. <laughs>
Okay, time is over. Then D. D. Is D correct, Dean? Yes. <laughs> D is correct. Four points for that. Okay. So, Team Deodora, which question do you want? Public finance for four points. Public finance for four points? This will be here. Okay. Which of the following is not an in kind benefit? A. Access to health care in the clinic of Yupiani municipality. B. Food stamps. C. Benefits to the Uchaka war invalids. And D. Unemployment insurance. Okay, we have the answer is C. As for C, is it correct? It is C. Very good, four points for that as well. So, Jambar, which question do you want? Public finance, five. Public finance, five. Okay. If an increase in government borrowing has no effect on the willingness of citizens to save, or on the demand for credit. Increased borrowing to cover deficits would therefore A. Reduce interest rates B. Increase interest rates C. Have no effect on interest rates and D. Not require increased taxes in the future. So time is over. We need your answer. C. C have no impact on interest rate. That is wrong. Can we say you have to. Uh, <laughs> it, is. it will increase the interest rate because it will lead to an increase in the total demand for money. Okay, very good. Then again, uh, monetary policy five points. Monetary policy five points. <laughs> Get up. The neutrality of money refers to a the fact that in the long run any percentage increase in the money supply leads to an equal percentage increase in the nominal interest rate. B the inability of cha of changes in the money supply to affect the price level even in the long run. C. The fact that in the long run, any percentage increase in the money supply leads to an equal percentage increase in the price level. And D. The inability of changes in the money supply to affect the nominal interest rates even in the long run. Thank 
time is over. Time is over. Yes, and second. Second one is the adoption of new technology. Technological. Okay, you are not. So that he will ask the government. Okay. So two of them. It says there are two important reasons. <laughs> okay, your answer is wrong. We have to move to the next key. Your answer is wrong. It's partially wrong. It is wrong. <laughs> So you don't have time to think, you don't have to give us the answer now. So you know, you have to move. Well, I think the, the technology, uh, the adoption right. technology is right. Mm -hmm. And second? And second is the uh, low wages, if you make use of low, co well, low resource cost. Okay, we have to move to the first team. Technological transfer. Mm -hmm. And the other one is? That one they got it right. The other one is right. Capital transfer or capital? No, that is capital. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, there is no more time. Professor, can I, we have to say, diminishing more than return is the first one that they got it right, and the second one is technological transfer. No. The accumulation of capital will be correct. So to catch up, you need to accumulate more capital and to transfer the technology. Capital, capital, capital accumulation. They also said yes, students. Technology transfer. And you say diminishing the return. You said diminishing return. So nobody will get points yet. On the very last question, so Bedre. Statistics are not Development economics five. Yeah. Among the eight millennium development goals. Three of them address the problem of health in the developing world. These three goals are... Come on, Dumbak. Yes, you don't have time to think, you only have to give us the answer. Uh, universal vaccination. Mm, that's also wrong. The third one has to do with the health 
help of mothers. So how do we call it then? Maternity decrease that list. Maternity health. Maternity health. Maternity health. Maternity health. So these are the correct answers, and none of you got it right. Reduce child mortality, improve maternal health. Well, technically, I just said all three of them. We all said all of them, but none of you got it right. Okay, thank you very much. No one will tell us the final score. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. So, Wilder, what is the score? Okay, so, place number three goes to Father Formozzi with 68 points. Uh, The second place goes to Big to Fail with 140 points. And with just three more points, uh, so in total 117 points, uh, Leonora wins this competition. So now I will invite Mariana Smoane to distribute certificates. Mariana Smoane. To distribute certificates to all the participants. Okay, well done, Bishop. Thank you.